My name is Paula Evans. I am the chairperson of the Foundation for Angelman Syndrome Therapeutics, or FAST for short. Uh, Angelman Syndrome is a severe neurological disorder. Uh, children with Angelman Syndrome cannot speak. Many cannot walk. Uh, most of them have debilitating seizures. Our children are happy, but they're not healthy. The happiness is the one thing that keeps us going and keeps us waking up in the morning. They have the most uh, beautiful smiles and laughs, and, and that's about the only good thing about Angelman Syndrome. We knew that a cure was possible, we knew that treatments were imminent, um, and we also knew that there was no funding in place for either one. Uh, we are preparing for human clinical trials, um, and the winnings from the Vivint contest would be the exact amount of money we would need to go to a human clinical trial on this first time ever potential treatment. This is my son Joshua. He is seven years old and he has Angelman Syndrome. FAST has given our family hope. And it was just amazing how the community came together and uh, made it happen. I think the Vivint Gives Back project has done something like I've never seen before. It has brought our community together in, in ways that not only have I not seen, but have never imagined. This for you and me. enormously grateful to Vivint uh, for giving us that opportunity and we're really excited about winning the contest and being able to immediately turn around and start changing children's lives with that. Um, these guys are incredible just the energy and passion they put into this contest. Usually, last year we got to the end, people are like, I can't handle it. I've been on Facebook every moment of my life, and I was talking to Paula last night, and she's like, are you kidding? We're still fired up, man. We're bummed it's over. My people want to know what they should be doing now. And so I, I just love the passion that they have. This is an amazing organization, and when you hear from Paula, you're going to find out, uh, you know, this is a disease where it could be put in our past uh, with this money that they're getting. I mean, this is something that we could look back on as a group and say, hey, we were a huge part of putting that thing in the ground. And so, you guys, that is powerful. But I am super excited. $250,000, our grand prize winner of the Vivint Gives Back contest, going to FAST. Congratulations. This is uh, our little man, Joshua. He is a little stud, so fun to hang out with. If you eat dinner with him, you better not put the plate too close to the table, though, because he will chuck it. So. Just so you know, Yvonne is a customer of ours, and um, she is the one that uh, got them into the uh, Living Gives Back project. And, uh, you know, their son Joshua, uh, who has this disease, actually, they adopted him. And so a lot of parents have gone into it kicking and streaming, but they went into it uh, willingly. And, um, and just talking to Yvonne last night, uh, the passion they have. But she's a faithful customer. And uh, she put so much passion and hard work for them to get this $250,000, and it's awesome. And I want you to hear from their executive director, Paula. Wow, this has been uh, an incredibly emotional day. First, I'd like to thank everyone at Vivint for uh, your just your wonderful hospitality. Uh, I think thanks to Vivint and Facebook, 
I think most of you now know uh, about Angelman syndrome. For those of you who, uh, who don't, Angelman syndrome is a severe neurological disorder. Um, our children cannot speak. Many of them cannot walk. They're cognitively delayed. They're developmentally delayed. Uh, they have debilitating seizures. Uh, they're usually life-threatening and very difficult to treat. Um, when the guys from Vivint came out to film us, you know, at the park there, they pulled me aside and they were like, you know, Paul, can you talk about the, you know, the bad aspects of the disorder? Because our children are happy. They're these beautiful, happy, smiling children. Um, and so the, the one thing about the disorder that it, it's ironic. They're, when you look at a child with Angelman syndrome, most often they'll be laughing and they'll be smiling. Um, but Angelman syndrome is, is no laughing matter. We lose children every year to seizures and accidents. We lost two children this weekend, a, a gorgeous four-year-old boy to seizures and a 10-year-old girl to an accidental drowning. Um, so don't let the smiles and the laughs and the giggles fool you. Our children face enormous challenges and they need a lot of help. About four years ago, Angelman syndrome was cured in the mouse model. That cure was done on a genetic level and therefore not applicable to humans. But what it did do was open uh, all kinds of doors and it, it, it created this paradigm shift in the way not only parents looked at Angelman syndrome, but the way that researchers looked at Angelman syndrome. For the first time, you know, us parents had, had hope, but researchers started saying, well, you know, wow, this, this is a, a syndrome that can be cured. And the one thing we didn't have was funding. So the FAST organization was founded. Um, we're a very narrowly focused organization. Uh, we're focused on uh, research that is gonna lead to treatments and a cure for Angelman syndrome. We're a new organization. We're just celebrating our, our third week uh, third year in existence this week, and I, I can't imagine being in a more appropriate place, place to celebrate that than here at Vivint with uh, all of its wonderful, selfless, passionate, dedicated employees who made not only fast streams come true, the dreams of Angelman Syndrome parents, but all of these unbelievable charities that participated in this contest and all the winners here. And, and every child is worth fighting for and every child is worth saving. Um, it was really funny when we started this contest, we all thought Yvonne was crazy. No one ever has heard of Angelman Syndrome. There were so many great charities in this contest. and We, we all thought she was nuts. But as it got going, you know, the, our, our parent base you know, became just so excited about it and everyone was talking about it on Facebook and I got this one to vote and I got that one to vote. And FAST had funded some research earlier this year um, and the results of that research had started coming in shortly into the contest. And uh, that research actually identified an FDA-approved medication that actually restores cognition and motor function in our mouse model. Uh, we were completely blown away. Um, FAST is a unique organization in that we are not waiting for the science to come to us. We have uh, an esteemed panel of experts and they're exploring the, the best, smartest ways to develop therapeutics now that are going to help our children right now as well as eventually a cure for this disorder. So when the results from this research came in, and keep in mind it's FDA approved so we don't have to go through that whole process. But um, as a board, we started discussing how we were going to fund a human clinical trial. And typically, the, the ways to do that are through the Food and Drug Administration, the NIH. But that process in itself could take several years. So I asked my scientists, I said, well, you know, how much is a human trial like this going to cost? And they said, well, well you know, it's going to be a lot of money. It could be a quarter of a million dollars. And I said, oh, well, then no problem, because we're going to win that Vivint contest, and we'll just pay for the trial ourselves. And they were like... Oh, my lord, this is the chairperson of this organization. Yeah, you know, I may as well go out and buy a lottery ticket. But I knew, I knew that when, when our community found out that this is what was at stake, I knew that we were going to win. I just had uh, no doubt about it. And so many of the other contestants that are here, this, the, the other winners, <laughs> have asked me, you know, how, how'd you guys do it? How did you win? I, well, first, I don't want to tell you in case they do it again next year, <laughs> but. Um, 
what a message. I, I hope all of you, em the employees of Vivint and everybody who takes part in the Vivint Gives Back project, I hope you understand truly that you're on a journey with us and, and very well may see a miracle happen because of the your efforts and your selflessness. We may very well look back on these children and say, gee, remember when? Remember when they couldn't speak or they couldn't walk? We're very hopeful about this clinical trial and we're so grateful and it's just, the irony is not lost on us when we needed it most. Um, you know, it was there. Um, we hope that you all follow in our journey here. We hope these trials will get started in the next two to four months. Um, to go from the lab to humans in about a year's time is practically unheard of. Um, so I hope you feel very proud of what you've done, not only for, the, for our children, but for this organization, because uh, it's my belief that we're using your hard-earned money in the very best way possible. Um, thank you to all of you. Um, this has just been incredible. Thank you so much.